how OAM, Operation, Administration and Maintenance, works in Packet Networks, a presentation by Calnex Solutions. This video will explain what OAM does and how it works. First of all, let's look at what OAM's tasks are in a packet network. OAM has three broad categories of work, discovery, fault management and performance monitoring. It uses messages, so these are specific OAM packets that are sent into the network. Messages like connectivity check, link trace, loopback and so on. And these messages again perform the three broad categories of tasks. Discovery, fault management and performance monitoring. Discovery is simply about discovering the topology and the content of the network. Fault management is about detecting, locating, reporting and responding to faults when they happen. Performance monitoring is about monitoring performance parameters such as loss, delay and delay variation. So let's look at a bit more detail how this works. <coughs> let's take the first type of message in OAM, the continuity check message. This is the basic uh, message type or OAM message type. Continuity check message or the CCMs are sent in the network a receiving node sends them and sorry a transmitting node sends them and the receiving node at the other end receives these messages if these messages stop arriving the node knows there is a problem and reports an alarm so simply by sending these continuity messages and the at the other end checking for them it is a check of continuity meaning it checks whether there's a fault on if there's a break in the line the ccm messages are stopped being received by the end node and the end node will report an alarm. Connectivity and fault management is also about verifying and locating these alarms and messages such as loopback or link trace can be used to do this. Loopback is, is just like a ping. A message is sent out called the loopback message and the target node then sends a, a res response, a loopback response. So this loopback message and loopback response is pinging each of these nodes and the nodes will then respond and let you know that they are still alive as well as the link are still alive. Link trace messages which is where a link trace message is sent and every node in that link then sends a link trace response. Again loopback and link trace are fundamentally used to locate and validate where a fault is in the network. Once we have detected and located the fault, we then need to notify the system of the fault. And this really can, be, can happen by way of management alarms, for example the CCM timeout alarm that you saw in the previous um, CCM example, or in-band messages, so messages sent by the nodes themselves, for example an alarm indication signal or AIS. So connectivity and fault management with OAM messages serve the purpose of detecting, verifying, locating and reporting faults. The second category is performance monitoring. So performance monitoring, remember, does the job of monitoring parameters such as loss, delay and delay variation in the network. Frame loss or packet loss can be monitored using the CCM messages. So the same continuity check messages that we saw before, when they are sent, we can also send a count of how many messages have been sent. And at the far end, this count is checked against how many messages are received. If there is a difference or discrepancy in the count, we know that we must have lost some messages and we can work out a frame loss ratio. So again, simply by sending a number of messages and checking how many are then received, we can calculate a frame loss ratio. We can also calculate frame delay and delay variation, both for round trip as well as one way. So the round trip mechanism works by way of a delay measurement message. A delay measurement message is sent out with a timestamp and the response is then sent again and this is timestamped. So when, by measuring the time of the, the transmit time of the delay measurement message and the receive time of the delay measurement response, we can calculate the round trip delay and therefore the round trip delay variation as well. So delay and delay variation performance can be monitored using the DMM, DMR messages. There's also a mechanism to monitor this for one-way latency, or one-way delay and delay variation. For this to happen, the two endpoints must have synchronized clocks. This can happen by way of GPS 
but more commonly today using the 1588 protocol. So the 1588 protocol is used first of all to synchronize the endpoints and then the one DM or one way delay message is sent and these are again timestamp packets so we know when we send them, we know when we receive them and we can therefore work out the one way delay message. So discovering the network checking for connectivity and faults, reporting and responding to the faults, and monitoring performance parameters such as loss, delay and delay variation. This is what OAM does in a network. This has been a presentation of Calnex Solutions.